Fresh and Famous Radio. Now, okay. you were born in Detroit, Michigan, correct? Well, I was actually born in Santa Monica in California in L.A. And um, I moved to Detroit when I was like like two weeks old. So, yeah, I was basically born here. You know, I lived here all my life where I was raised. So, yeah. so what's, what's it like, like in Detroit, man? Because a lot of people get, you know, they, they stereotype, man. They say, like, Detroit is dirty or, you know, what's that like? like? Man, you know, people who have never been to Detroit have a stereotype that it's, like, the most hood is gangster, like, dirty, not well-kept cities, man. It's actually, it's everything, man. It's, it's a lot of rich people here. It's a lot of nice, great neighborhoods, safe neighborhoods. It's a lot of hood shit going on. It's a lot of uh, everything in between, man. It's a ton of different people. It's a, it's a great place, though, man. You just got to know your city. Like any other city, it has good and bad neighborhoods, you know? Um, yeah. But, man, it, it, it's a great city to live, man. And uh, I encourage people to visit, man. We have a ton of, ton of stuff to do in the D. So, you know, I, I was exposed to a lot of different parts of Detroit. I was exposed. I grew up on the west side, so I grew up in the hood. I went to school, yeah. uh, at least I went to elementary and middle school with like, you know, rich kids and, you know, white, different color kids and um, seeing every different part uh, of the full spectrum. So, yeah. Shoot, I might have to get down to Detroit and, and mess with a few Detroit honeys. <laughs> no, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> the girls are the best here, man. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, man. Uh, Detroit definitely yeah. got the girls, man. What? It's better than Miami? Well, see, <laughs> it's a little different. <laughs> Miami is great. Miami got the girls, you know. That's they got the Cubans and the pretty, you know, the pretty light skinned mommies. And, you know, we got all that here too. But you just see what I'm saying, man. You just gotta come through and check it out. <laughs> for sure, for sure. It says in your bio that you, you know, in, in 2008 you like to wear bape and you know billionaire boys club. What is uh, what does Big Sean like to wear nowadays? Man, you know, I like to wear just anything that makes me feel great, man. You know, it's a lot of different lines that I that I personally mess with. I definitely mess with billionaire boys club and bape still. Um, I've really been rocking just like more casual things lately, man. Stuff with less designs on them, really just plain stuff. You know, I'm definitely into uh, into high end brands as well. You know, the Dior's, the Louis oh, Vuitton's, yeah. MCM. You know, and just Nike, Jordan, all that type of stuff. So you don't be wearing the skinny yeah. jeans or nothing like that? <laughs> no, man, my jeans fit pretty well. You know, they're not too bad. They're not too big, but they never just like ass tight, man. You know, I say that for my girls. <laughs> yeah, I do. Ladies and gentlemen, right. we got Big Sean on Fresh and Famous Radio. What were, you, what were you saying, you know, like when you met Drake and Kanye and, you know, that kind of crowd? What were you, how, how, how does it feel, man? Oh, man, it's a blessing to know people, you know, like that. You know, it's an honor to be mentioned amongst guys like that. Among, even just in this industry, man, to just have a buzz and the people be interested. That's all I ever wanted, all I could ever ask for. It was great, man. You know, I'm, I'm thankful every day. And, uh... Man, you know, what else can I say? I used to ride to school listening to Jay-Z, Lil Wayne, Kanye, Common. You know, these are people I know now, and it's incredible. Yeah, that's crazy, yeah. man. That's, that's beautiful, <laughs> though, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Man, it's crazy. What does Big Sean have? What project do you have going on right now? Oh, I just put out Finally Famous Time 3, the mixtape. It's the third mixtape I've ever done in my life. I'm really proud of it, man. It was just it's something that I did. You know, I, tr I treat it as like a mixtape. I always treat it like my, the previous mixtapes before, like an album, you know, at that time in my life. But this one, I really just treat it like a mixtape. had great songs to deliver, great freestyles, you know. Um, and it, I, I got my popularity from putting music out virally. That's how I, you know, I never put no album out or nothing. So I know how important it is. And, you know, even when my label or management didn't necessarily agree with a mixtape, I always knew how important it was to feed the streets and, you know, of course, I had the label obligations to finish my album and do my album, which I did that. And on top of working and finishing a great album, you know, I did a mixtape on the side, man. You know, long nights in the studio, 5 a.m. is like regular for me. It was a regular time to be up. I work very hard, man. I think the world is going to start seeing that. And I think they are starting yes, to see it. Yeah, they are, man. <laughs> you got, you've yeah. been turning heads, man. I just seen, uh, a status on Facebook that says uh, it was this, it was this one girl. She said she wanted to meet you or whatever. She's in Texas. Shout out to Lauren. <laughs> she said oh, she okay. was going to. I love that. I love that. What up? 
Big Sean, if you could, if you could collaborate with any artist, you know, that you haven't collaborated with yet, who would it be? Man, probably Eminem. Man, I want to oh. collab with him. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's oh. the not too many people make noise. You ever No, I haven't personally talked to him. My homie talked to him a couple of times, and you know, we we trying to work something out and get something together. But you know, I'm sure me and him will cross paths sooner or later. Definitely a couple other people I want to collab with, but that's probably one of the main ones. Wow. Well, if you do, man, you already know you gotta let us know. We gotta uh, check that out. Too late. Man, let y'all know <laughs> when I when I do it, man. I'm gonna give it to y'all to drop. I gotta play it. So. For sure, for sure. We supporting you over here, man. Do you want to give out any shout outs? Yeah, definitely, man. I want to shout out to everybody that listens. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Good Music. Shout out to Def Jam. Shout out to Mike Brinks. And shout out to y'all, man. I really appreciate it. For real. It's much love. Just want to tell Stay you this, up. man. Before we go, I just want to tell you this, man, that uh, you have some artists coming up, man. Big shout out to uh, John Welch, Cameron Ryan. Man, big shout out to... Uh, Bray, <laughs> you got some people okay. coming up, man. So <laughs> yeah, <them>. cool. <laughs> Definitely will, man. Hey, Sean, I wanna, I wanna thank you, old man, for being on Fresh and Famous Radio. Uh, it was an honor, like I said, you know, to have a, a legend in, on the air with me right now. Fresh and Famous Radio. Hey.